So we have made our annual trip up to the NEC in Birmingham for the national running show. And we've got people streaming in behind us. Looks like it's gonna be a busy day and the show seems to grow every year. Lots of great exhibitors and brands showcasing new products. And there's some awesome motivational speakers, including some Mo Farah and Dame Kelly Holmes. Something new for this year. I'm gonna be speaking for the first time, slightly nervous, but it should be okay, on the excellent new Harriet Trail Running Zone. So really excited to get in there and have a good look around. So let's get in, and we'll bring you guys with us. Okay, so we have had a quick walk around the show. There is a lot of positive energy in here. Always good to come to the show with lots of like-minded people. On the way around, we've seen some exciting brands, some new brands as well. But when we went past the Innovate stand, it looks like they've got some new shoes launching this year. So let's get over to Innovate, have a chat with Lee and find out what they're up to. Okay, so we have headed over to the Innovate stand with a nice new branding. It's going to be a big year for the brand, that's for sure. And we are joined by Lee. Thanks for coming on the channel. No problem. Mate. Thanks for having us. Uh, Lee was on the channel very briefly when we were out in Chamonix one time. We were just heading up the VK route and he just disappeared off into the distance because Lee is a pretty handy runner. But he is here today to tell us all about a couple of new shoes from the brand. So uh, the Mud Talon Speed, which I've actually just managed to get a pair of. Thank you very much, no Lee, for sending them through. We're going to be testing them on the channel soon. We thought we'd pop along. Hopefully the background noise isn't too loud. And Lee's just going to give us a, a few facts about the new shoes. So how are you doing, mate? Yeah, very well, thank you. See right. you. Okay, the first thing to probably say about the new, the new range of shoes for 2024 is that we've changed the shape of the shoes and they're very much now foot shaped. So they really lock in here at the midfoot and at the heel, and they go outwards towards the toes, like a natural foot shape. Yeah, I'm um, noticing that. I mean, when I tried the talons when we got them at home, I noticed that straight away, quite a different feeling uh, fit on the, on the foot, you know? Yeah, it is. The idea is it gives you know, a real natural feel to when, you, when you've got the shoe on and when you're running. It allows the feet and the toes to do what they should be allowed to do. So rather than cramping them up in the end of a shoe, we're giving them plenty of space. And so yeah, that new foot shape will run all the way through our new 2024 okay. shoes. Cool. So that's the first thing to explain. The other thing to say is that the new shoes are gonna come in fits. So we're gonna have precision, standard, and wide. Now, not all shoes are gonna come in every one of those three, but this one, for example, will come in a precision and a wide. Okay. So it'll give people the option whether they want a bit of a narrower feel or they want that good. wider feel. Options good, everybody's yeah. foot shape's different. Exactly. So on the outsole, we always talk about our shoes from the ground up. It's sticky grip rubber, and it's added a new real tackiness to it. So it's gonna claw through anything muddy or soft, because it's got eight millimeter lugs. Yeah, that's a pretty aggressive lug. It is, but at the same time, that new sticky tackiness is gonna allow it, so when it gets a bit wet underfoot, it should get some better purchase on the wet rocks as well. Yeah. So pretty versatile. Um, in terms of soft trail running shoe. Upper fabric looking quite different to anything I've seen on an innovation. Really, course. really different. Like really, things. really lightweight. Really, really, really durable. People have sort of looked at it while we've been here at the show and have been a little bit like, oh, it's really light and it's really flexible. Yeah. Are you sure of that? And yeah. it, we've, we've banged so many miles into this shoe and that is a super, super durable upper. And it allows the water out as well. And I'm glad to see that you've got the good old boomerang footbeds in this, the shoe. This Can't go is wrong the, with a pair of boomerangs. The secret weapon yeah, is, to innovate shoes. Boomerang footbed. Yeah. The other thing quickly though, as well to worth mentioning, is the midsole. Okay. It's a brand new foam compound that we've got in there. It's called Powerflow Pro. And it's what we feel is our best ever midsole compound we've done. It's an EVA foam. Yeah. It's it's just a little bit softer than Innovate has done before. Okay. So you're gonna feel that when you put the shoe on, yeah. but it's got super bounce. Yeah. So you really feel like you're being propelled through the gear. Paired up with the boomerang. And paired yeah. with the boomerang. It's pretty, it's pretty like pretty rocket, rocket like. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll hold you to that. Um, so, uh, Mud Talon Speed. Yeah. What is going on here? A very uh, different looking shoe from the Innovate brand. That's so, sure. that was Mud Talon Speed. This is Trailfly Speed. Okay. So, it's kind of like the, the, the sister or brother to that one, right. I think you could say. To start from the bottom, this is a graphene grip outsole. So, graphene being the world's strongest material, we've used it on quite a lot of our shoes. 
proper game. We've added a new sticky tackiness to it. So as well as being super, super durable, it should grip better on that wet, wet ground. Four millimetre lugs on the bottom of there. So perfect for hard pack trails. Obviously, if you're going to go into softer ground, you would go something like mud talon. Whereas this will do the hard ground perfectly. It's not designed for maybe a bit of crossing over. Yeah, midsole is exactly the same as the Mutalon okay. Speed, Power Flow right. Pro. And then the upper is a one piece, like an air mesh. Okay. Super, super light, but really breathable. And you've got no irritation points or anything like that in there. It just feels like a slipper. Exciting times ahead then, folks. So like I say, we've got a pair of the Mud Talon Speeds. We're going to be getting them on our feet soon. Obviously, we've got the art coming up, so it'll probably be post that if I'm still able to run. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll be having first impressions on the channel and hopefully we'll get hold of some of the other exciting new shoes to test as well. Thanks for coming on, mate. No, thank you very Good much for having us. Out, yeah, so. thank you. I came across the CXP stand. Now, if you follow the channel, you'll know that I've been rocking their endurance running underwear for about the last year now and really getting uh, on with the product. We're joined by Tom from CXP. Thanks for coming on, mate. Great to see you. Good to meet you face to face. I know, finally. Yeah. And I thought we'd have a chat with Tom and just find out a bit more about the product itself, how it's been developed, and maybe some of the plans they've got for the future. So yeah, how's everything going, mate? Really good. I mean, uh, it's Saturday today. We've had a fantastic first day. It's been busy? been busy and I think the biggest benefit that, that I've felt from this is um, the repeat custom cool. and the feedback. You know, this is the second time that we've come here um, as a relatively new brand and it, it's so uh, reassuring and refreshing and encouraging to yeah. get the feedback from people that want a product that yeah. are coming back to purchase again because they've had a positive experience. Yeah, so it's been a really, really fantastic day and it's gone like that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been it's been, a, it's been manic, as you know. Yeah, it's been super busy in the show today. Busier than last year, that's for sure. You can hardly make your way from one end to the other. So, yeah, uh, good to hear that you've been busy. Mate. Yeah, no, thank you. So, yeah, I mean, in terms of, obviously, CHP, um, we've probably been in communication for, well, probably about t 10 months yeah, almost Yeah, it was now. actually after the show last year that a viewer of the show that was it. I told you to contact us. Yeah, and I reached out to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and yeah. I've used them ever since. So. No, which is fantastic. Yeah. No, thank you. And our journey really is, it, it started off um, as a, a patent play. So we uh, work with different universities in terms of how we could get tension levels uh, bespoke to specific muscle types on the body. Okay. So whereas historically with underwear, the, you kind of say, well, I put my oldest pair in pants on to go for a run. I put my oldest underwear in my gym bag, the ones with the holes in get to go to the gym. So we knew there's an opportunity for something that's It's more a bit more advanced than that. It's a lot more <laughs> advanced than that, hopefully. Um, so we started off really as a, how do we dictate tension on soft tissue? How can we make the garment more comfortable? And it evolved from really addressing a medical issue to begin with. Okay. Then when we, we started to do the R&D and working with the different universities and um, the medical authorities that we got involved, we found out that actually the benefits increased the harder you were working at sport. So we kind of flipped from it being a medical development to going into the sports world. Okay. Um, I didn't realise that. Yeah, so it's uh, it's been a crazy four or five years, but really the majority of those have been spent behind closed doors uh, uh, developing, you know, doing uh, development. Yeah, yeah. And what it's evolved into is a fantastic opportunity for us to work with incredible talent, yourself, you know, having these great relationships and content you do. This, this man here. This guy. Yeah, Zach, which, Zach Miller, if you don't know, he's had a big part to play. A huge it? part. And the thing for us was this was always a, we've got something where we can improve what's already out there. So we don't have all the answers. So let's go to the experts for the answers. In terms of our endurance product, uh, we went with Zach and we said, Zach, here are the fabric options. Here's the different things we can do with the tension. You tell us what works for you. He went and, you know, we worked for eight months putting this through his paces. So he would do it in different climates, different humidities, and we took his steer. We've got the manufacturing expertise, but we want the, the people doing it every day to tell us what works for so, us. So, I mean, he had a massive input then. Not, it wasn't like you made a product yeah. and said, here you go, Zach, wear it. That's it. it. He's had a gift, which is yeah. you know, super important. It is. I mean, the, the picture that we've got here, obviously, is Zach finishing UTMB, wearing the insurance product that he helped develop. Yes. And that's how we see this whole journey. It's, it's about taking 
uh, support from the people that know best and then giving the manufacturing expertise to make sure that we're delivering uh, the best possible product for, for our customers. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can vouch that you can tell he's had a lot of input. You know, a serious runner who does serious distance has had a lot of input because, yeah, they do perform really well over long distance. You know, stay comfortable, lovely fabrics, great fit. Um, but as far as going forward, what are yeah. plans you know, in the future? Have you got a... The biggest one for us is women's wear. Okay. So as a new brand, obviously, you, you, you're a little bit held back on how much investment you can put in production. You kind of have to choose one or the other. And we had so many opportunities in terms of men's sport that it was logical just to go down that route. But the women's wear product for us is a real game changer. Um, there's been, a lot, again, a lot of work gone into that. Again, we're looking for that expertise help as well in terms of the development process. So. Fingers crossed, um, this May, uh, but June will be out with women's oh, wear, awesome. so that's, yeah. that's something that we're really excited about. Absolutely, yeah, yeah absolutely. Thanks for coming on, Tom. Anytime. Uh, giving us a bit of an insight into the product. Excited to hear about the women's underwear that's heading our way soon, and yeah. I hope you have a great rest of the show. Likewise, good to see you. Good to meet you, mate. Thanks, Liam. So we have managed to sit down for five minutes, grab some lunch and a quick coffee, and it has been a busy morning. A great morning, but very busy. It's been awesome having a chat with some of the exhibitors, but also bumping into lots of you guys, the viewers of the channel. Always great to come up here and sort of put faces to names, but we're gonna head out for another loop around the show, see what other exhibitors and what other brands we can bump into, and we're gonna have a chat with them. So the time has come, I've got my Harrier cap on and we've got the trail running zone behind me. We've got 20 minutes till go time, so we're gonna go over, get my head mic on and get set up for the talk. Wish me luck. Okay, so the talk of the Harrier trail running zone seemed to go down pretty well. We had a good crowd and they all seemed very positive about it. I got no rotten tomatoes thrown at me anyway, but there's lots more to see in the show. So let's get out there, see who we can find. Now, we couldn't come to the national uh, running show here in Birmingham without popping by and chatting to the guys from Phoenix Lighting UK. If you follow the channel, you'll know that I'm a massive believer in their head torches and I've used them for a number of years now. We've been joined by Jamie from Phoenix UK. So thanks for coming on the I'll channel, you, mate. mate. I would shake his hand, but show the audience oh, he's broken. It hips. wasn't even running, it wasn't even running. <laughs> Um, so I've been hearing some rumours that there might be a few new yeah. torches heading our way soon. Well, so. Phoenix, at this time of year, always like to bring their new models out. We see it in the catalogue and we see new ones. So what we've got is a one that I think is going to really, really do well in the ultra running market. So the HM75R is this one here. It looks very similar to that HM65RT that you love so much, yep. the DT that you love so much. And that it's got that dual light there. But the big thing about this one is that on the back, you've got a second battery. Awesome. So not only have you got your front battery and you've got your spare battery at the back. Okay, what, so you've got a battery in the front unit yep. and you've got a battery, battery in the, the back. Okay. What I was talking to you about earlier though is the ability to remove the front battery and then just use the rear battery. It means that you can make an incredibly lightweight front unit and then move the rear battery into a bag. So then you're running with an incredibly light head torch without the kind of weight that you get with some bigger batteries. Okay. Yeah, because so, I mean, the, the head unit without the battery it is super light, isn't it? Exactly. The beauty thing about this one, you've got different modes. So you've got your spotlight, change it through the modes by pushing the button. You go to your floodlight, you change it through the modes by pushing the button. And then you go to red light if you need some red light to take your night vision. I like it. I like, I Very like, nice the, uh, I like the button. How that, well, I haven't seen that on a head torch before. That looks pretty interesting. And the good thing as well, the size of the back unit, you can actually remove the, the cable from here so that you can just run it as a single front unit. Okay. So if you're not going to do a big race or anything like that, you can just run with the solo front unit. So a pretty adaptable running. Exactly, so it's a unit down. for every occasion. Any ideas of when people are going to be able to get hold of it? Hopefully the first quarter of the year, so not too long. So this is, this is an exclusive, guys. You know, we're very lucky to come and speak to them, see this head torch for the first time. This is the first time I'm hearing about it as well, and it is 
it's getting me really excited. It looks like there's a lot of thought and attention gone into it to try and make it as user-friendly and as adaptable as possible. But there's going to be some updates to the torch that I love so yeah. much as well, so, so the HM65RT. HM65RT is getting a complete refresh, relook. Yeah. Instead of having a deep reflector and a spot light, floodlight, you're going to have two similar, what they call TRI lenses, so total internal reflection. Some posh words there. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, you've got your white light, then you can do some level modes there. And then you've got more of an orange stone, which is on the DT, okay, yep, which is good for cutting through yeah, yeah, yeah. foggy conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's going to be an exciting year in it the world of Phoenix one. running head torches. I think we've got something for everyone here, from someone who's just like starting out, because that price point's going to be great. People are moving up to the ultra stages, great for them. And people who are like crazy as Jack doing the spine race, you know, yeah, yeah. that's your, your ticket. Is that, is, was he using? Uh, he was using one of the uh, old fashioned HM65 okay, R's. Cool. Yeah, so it was, yeah, the race nice. winning ones. So there you go, spine winners, they even believe in Phoenix uh, head torches <laughs> as well, but awesome to catch up, no, mate. Thanks good, for mate. coming on, I'll shake the other hand, and, and really excited to maybe get this on my head and test it out on the yeah, channel. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, get the guys to get it to you. Awesome, mate, thanks mate. for coming on. Cheers. Okay, it wouldn't be the National Running Show if we didn't come over to the Harrier stand and have a chat with Kate, and shall I say, your very smart new stand at the National Running Show. Yeah, very fancy, yeah. thank you very um, much. How's everything gone? It looks like you've had a mega busy show. Yeah, it's been crazy. So last year we had um, DIY picnic tables, yeah? And uh, this year we've gone for a fancy new stand, thought we need to go for it with the trail zone. And it's been amazing. We've still been completely rushed off our feet but it's been amazing, we've loved it. It's the end of the show uh, on the Sunday. We've been trying to speak to Kate for over the two days <laughs> and it has just been absolutely mobbed every time we've come here. And the new Harrier Trail Running Zone, thanks for having me on. Yeah, you got the biggest crowd, it was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was really good, I really yeah. appreciate it. it was we great need to... a stage, stage yes, next stage year. stage next yes. year would be wicked. And also, didn't something else happen at the show this year? Oh, yes. We might be a retailer of the year as well. High yes. five. Woo. Harrier, trail running, retailer of the year. How yes. about that? I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, so chuffed. It was like quite overwhelming yesterday. It was just fab all the awards and yeah. it was great to be shortlisted, but to win and all the team got on, on stage. It yeah. was awesome. Yeah, we stayed late so that we could see it to see if they won the, the award and they did. And it yeah. was, yeah, awesome to yeah. see, you know, from Early days at Harrier up to now, pretty, yeah. pretty impressive stuff. We're well chuffed. We've got the award in the warehouse back in Derby yeah. already when Brilliant. we went back last night. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, First of many, first of many, I, I reckon. So. And as far as things to come in the future, lots of plans? Yeah, we've got our thermal jackets, we've got our socks, we're revamping our poles, our race vests. We've got big plans. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. Always good to chat and congratulations. Thank you so much, guys. Awesome. It was awesome to go over to the Harrier trail running zone and do my talk. Uh, I've got to be honest, I was a little bit nervous before it, but once I got out there chatting to the guys, it was great to see some familiar faces and a lot of viewers of the channel. But as the show draws to an end, uh, there's one more exhibitor we want to go over to and have a chat with. So I've been coming to the running show for the last three years up here at the NEC in Birmingham and I've always walked past this stand with really colourful running kit on and I've always been a bit intrigued and uh, the other day I heard that they had a very interesting story. So I'm here with James, Hi, welcome Lloyd. to the channel, James from Monkey Socks and he's going to nice tell us a bit more about it. Oh brilliant, yeah. thank you. So, so we're Monkey Socks. We're a not-for-profit and we raise money for multiple sclerosis charities. Okay. And to raise that money, we sell coordinated odd socks. Like uh, it. To represent the imbalance of people with multiple sclerosis yeah. kind of Forget field day yeah. to day. Yeah. We've, got, we've got short socks, we've got really long socks, we've got anywhere in the middle socks. And, and they are definitely very bright socks and anyone who watches the channel will know that I love a bright running sock, so it kind of fits in with the whole run for adventure. We thing. can help you, Lloyd. We can help you. <laughs> So, I mean, what a great concept, you know? Thank you, yeah, it was, it all kind of stemmed, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis okay. uh, seven years ago now. My wife and I set up the company, uh, Leanne's a designer, I'm a doctor. Um, wow. We want to we wanna get people active yeah. and we want to get people moving. Leanne wants to design brightly coloured awesome yeah. stuff. She's definitely doing that. She has done that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 
And yeah. it's, it's going really well. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. I mean, I always come to the show and you always look super busy, you know. Oh, it's been great. The, the run show never yeah. the, never lets us down. Everyone's great. And it, and it seems like you've, you've formed quite a loyal following. You know, quite a few people have been telling me about you, telling me about your story. You it's, it's really good now. So yeah. when we first started, not many people knew about us. And now we get, we get people coming back. And yeah, yeah. it's great to hear them telling our story yeah. to us. A bit better than I can. Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously you've got the charity side of it, which is a bonus. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and that was what we wanted to create. We wanted we're a not-for-profit. We want to donate to our multiple sclerosis charities. Oh, great, great. Donated over twenty-five thousand pounds in wow. four years. Amazing. Um, yeah, we'll keep doing it. Yeah, good job, man. No, I mean it's like I say, it's a great story. The kit looks awesome. So definitely, you need to go and check out Monkey Socks, guys. Go and have a look at their very large selection of very colourful uh, running socks. Excellent. Thanks, mate. Thanks for coming on. Cheers, mate. Okay, so that is the end of another great weekend up here at the NEC in Birmingham for the National Running Show. It's always great to come up uh, with like-minded people and have a look at all the new exciting running shoes, the new tech, and all the new running gadgets that are gonna be hitting the market soon. But more importantly, it's great to meet up with you guys, viewers of the channel that come up, say hello, had so much positivity for the channel. So thanks for giving up your time, coming over and having a chat. Also awesome to speak on the exciting new Harrier trail running zone. Great to get in front of people for the first time and do a talk like that. Not done that before. It was a little bit intimidating to start with, but I really got into it towards the end. And it was great that Harrier walked away with that retailer of the year prize. If you have enjoyed the video, you've enjoyed coming around the show with us, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But for now guys, we'll be back on the channel very soon. We're just about to hit the road back down to Cornwall. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. But most importantly, it's awesome to come up and meet so many of you Gaia, Gaia's. The natural ability to do what they should do. We talk about the shoe control in the foot and not the foot. Actually, I've got that the wrong way around. <laughs> oh, we'll I'm so sorry. We're going to cut. So we have made our annual trip up to the NEC in Birmingham for the National Running Show. There has been people streaming in behind us all morning, so it looks like it's going to be a busy show, and it seems to get be... Oh, it seems to be...